Welcome to Three Mile Island Stadium in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. Today's forecast is going to be cool and breezy with nuclear lightning and intermittent chance of acid rain. So for those sitting in the stands, don't forget to wear your hazmat suits. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still moving, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Wow, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Hot one. And that's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Oh. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And that'll be second. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First down and nine. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. And the QB evades an onslaught of defenders and lives to die another day. That was a great 
movie. And it's first and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! It's a touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Can you be proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's a pick. And now the quarterback is cursing the defense, his receiver, the coach, everyone but himself. And he, he could go all the way. And he scores. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot one, hot and the defense gets another pick. Man, oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Yeah, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow.
And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. First down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. point it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight uh, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that's a great nine yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boost dirty trick. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. I think the defenders are scared of this guy. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it's probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but... And this guy's an electrified player even when he's not getting electrocuted. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! He's at the 40. The 30! And one saver there! The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first. Let's do a nice game. That'll bring up second and one. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. And that'll bring up third and one. Does the QB know which 
Team is on. I don't even let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed topper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I want to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No, oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Second down and ten. The punter is warming up. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you got to pay attention. Yeah, a lot of the jungle, you know? Rainbow, and he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. Punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters anyway? Punters' moms? Wives? Kids? Uh, but that's about it. And it's first and ten. So much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Away. The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. This guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three.
third and four. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. First and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. I think you clearly can dance better than that. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. the dust they can only pass yeah well at least they don't have to forfeit then that's right but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers and it's first and ten ah, another interception Easy. and the mfl keeps pounding out the death hits on wmfl 90.8 the greatest hits of all time First and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during half time. Third down and three. Ouch. What is this? Andy's wrestling? The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. First down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Extra 
three-point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's funny. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. offense there is no huddle so neither team can put their players on the bench and that'll be second the quarterback just used his final timeout let's see what they come up with on the next play And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why they're And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. <laughs> you know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a shot. Like he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He refuses to go down. Team is on. I don't even know where I'm at. Bam! Oh, two 
point. He's running out of gas now. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and seven. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Third down and a pussy here. Hey, like a monkey trying to fuck a creature. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. It's the all you can eat but Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets and he fumbles at bricks, that was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. I won't even get out of it. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh -oh. 
Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. I know how this never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and nine. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? First down and one. Deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Second down in a very lot. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense must forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Ah, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. Eh, don't seem fair, Grim. Hey, life's not fair, dipshit. But it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just... The Blitzburg Steelheads are decimated and destroyed today. They lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition did. Gotta love that fan! Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Exxon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...